Martina Topley Bird, Need One. All right, XFM 104.9. Well, it's that time. It's getting exciting. We've got Rockbusters results, but before that, a little bit of monkey news with, oh, chimpanzee that, monkey news. <laughs> Carl Pilkerton. Brilliant. Let's do it. I haven't read that for a couple of weeks. Go on then. All right, so, uh, is that this little monkey? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, it lives in Morocco. Right, you, I'll just warn you now, you, you're on thin ice from last time, okay? So, make sure, is this real? It's been Don't say anything stupid. Think about it. As you're saying it, think to yourself, oh, is that true? Do monkeys do that? Do they think like that? So, go on then. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so there's this ma magician in Morocco, right? Mm -hmm. Got a little monkey work working with him, mm -hmm. right? Um, the way it used to work, uh, magician used to do his thing on stage, do mm -hmm. a little bit of magic, people loved it. Mm -hmm. Then the monkey came out, had a little cap, walked around the crowd and stuff, uh, got the money, had a good little team thing going on, right? Yeah. So anyway, the monkey's name was 86. Right. Because back then there were so mo many monkeys, it was like, oh, what names, do you know what I mean, what names do you use, what do you do? Yeah. So yeah. they just like, named them, yeah. right? So this, this little monkey- it, What, he had, he had 86 mon- other monkeys? No, 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 it's just that because a lot of monkeys were sort of working back then, helping magicians out. You know, doing bits and pieces, busking, what have you. Just well, Rick, you know how there's so well, why many. Why would there be a confusion with that? I, I, if he only had one monkey, where's the confusion? People would go, oh, I'm not going to go and see that. I want to see 86. He's the better monkey. Do you know what I mean? What does it matter? So I don't what, know what you mean. Well, why do they need. Wh wh who, wh where was the confusion with people going to the circus and going, what monkey are you going to see tonight? I don't know. It's, it wasn't a billing, was it, with a monkey? But Rick, it's just the same with humans. You know, there's so many humans now that we can't give them names anymore. Yeah, they all exactly. Have to have numbers. Exactly. Yeah. There's so many humans. You know, with five billion people, they, we can't give them names. It's yeah. impossible. But you know, with a few monkeys anyway, working. Anyway, number twenty-two. Go on. So anyway, so uh, there he is. Eighty-six. Eighty-six. Uh -huh. With his hat. With his hat, walking around, getting the money. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the magician, sort of, uh, you know, thinking about moving on, because in Morocco he'd sort of done all the tourist traps. Sure. So he had a word with the monkey, he said, how about we, uh... <laughs> See? No, let him continue. Think. He let, let him continue. He, he didn't have a word with the monkey. Let him continue. So what do you think about going over to Spain? Yes. <laughs> God. Sure. So, uh, the monkey was in agreement? So he said, alright, go on then. Right, so, uh, so they get in the car, <laughs> and, uh, like the magician knew he'd have a bit of a problem on his hands because you're not meant to take monkeys out of the country. Yeah. Right? So he thought, right, what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll get a car, right? Right. Uh, stick the monkey in a boot, right? Uh, get on the boat and hopefully sort of, you know, stick it in, a, in some luggage and what have you. Yeah. We'll be over there, we'll be earning big money, sure. everything's gonna be great. So the monkey was like, brilliant. So, they, they get in the car, they're on the way to the, uh, to the boat, and, uh, pull over at a petrol station. Uh-huh. And, uh, just before filling it up, he opens up the boot and he goes, yeah, all right, and then it's like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> uh, so he leaves, he, he leaves the boot open so he can breathe and get a bit of fresh air whilst oh, he's filling right. up. Goes in to pay the money. Yep. Pays the money, goes, uh, I'm just paying for the- Right, uh, this monkey is not gonna drive away in that car. <laughs> or, we're never doing this feature again. <laughs> Carl, what happens? What's, um, what's number 86 up to? So, <laughs> 86. <laughs> so, uh- That's the ending, isn't it? That's the story. Come on, let, let right, Carl finish the story. Not be, it better brilliant, not be. brilliant, brilliant. You're gonna love it. Right, so he's in the petrol station, and he's going, right, I'll pay for, uh, Pump 4. And the fella says, what are you talking P about? Pump, pump 4, four? <laughs> isn't that a monkey? No. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> I use numbers for monkeys, sometimes <laughs> I use, no, I mean Pump 4. Sure. Yeah, so he says, on. what are you talking about? There's no car at Pump 4. Right. <laughs> Keep going. You. Sticks his head out of the door. Yeah. The monkey's giving it some. Uh, went over to Spain on its own. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, well, hang on, let's just, let's just get a couple of the facts right here. Right, what do you mean, couple of the facts? Right, there are no facts. So, it number 86, it, number, number 86, 86 drove, he drove to Spain. You are, t uh, honestly, Carl, I, d you must know. It was an automatic. Right. Carl, how did he, how you did must he... know that is shit. There is no way a monkey mad, That's the thing with his He gets stopped though. at customs. It's mental. How would he get through customs, Carl? Got, he got a passport? No, no, he was sneaking about because he didn't have a passport. So he parked and then snuck through. Do you want the facts? Let me see it. Well, I'll examine this, Rick, and we'll play a record. Play a record, and, uh, record because I can't- facts, that's, yeah. that's- that's nearly as bad as the armed robbery. Right, go on. Yeah. Play a record. Brilliant. Better suede? Yeah. Stay yeah. together. My favourite. One of 86's favourites. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Brilliant. My favourite suede track. No, stay together. XFM. Well, nearly time to go. But, uh, before we do, a little bit of rock buster results. Just checking some of the answers, Rick, and it seems that an awful lot of people have got it right. Go on then. Tell us them again then. Remind us of them before you give us the answers. All right, Rock Busters number one was like this. It was a customary We're stopping monkey news, by the way, until you start getting some credible ones. Because it- because that's ridi- it's ridiculous. Mm. It's not true. Yeah, it seems- seems mad. But no, it's but it's- it's through the internet again, so anyone- anyone can go online, download that story. It's insubstantial. It, it, it's- Get ones, get ones from journals or where the, the source is quoted. Okay, or, or yeah, we're not interested, or we're not, we're not. Well, you don't. Mm. Okay, so it's same with so that on thin ice. We've we've pulled this once. We've pulled rock, but we suspended it once, mm. and you came back again. So it's. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So go on then. Right. So rockbusters. Uh, rockbusters number one was about a customer who wanted some paint. Wanted to darken up a room. The shop assistant knew what to do. What did she do? The initials were CB. Cellar black, right? S- cellar black. Cellar some you black. You see, paint. I thought cellar black because it's CB, and I thought, well, it can't be because it's not cellar. It's not sell her black. Cryptic, it's cellar- cryptic, though, isn't it? No, no, cryptic doesn't mean it's wrong. Uh, they all <laughs> got it. They all got it anyway. So it's a bit weird, isn't it? Uh, second one. It would be all right if the reds weren't that big, right? Right. The initials uh, are SF. Well, well uh, one of my favourite bands, yeah. Yeah. The- the smaller faces, isn't yeah. it? Small that, faces. Well, no, that doesn't make sense. Okay, go on then. Uh, and the final one, uh, Chanel have got another perfume out, right? I'll just say, we've had an email from one of our, uh, listeners who said, if this turns out to be new order, he's never listening to XFM again. What's, what's, the, what's the, the clue again? Chanel. I've- I've got another perfume out. N- new odour. Right, well that's another listener gone. What do you mean? There's not a group called New Odour. No, it's- it's cryptic. No, it's, it's not- cryptic. that doesn't mean cryptic! Wrong doesn't mean cryptic! It's like saying what animal I'm thinking of. Frog. It- 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 that doesn't mean cryptic. Sell her black. What artist is that? Small faces works, just about. If I say what animal I'm thinking of, what, what am I Monkey. thinking? Monkey. Well, there you go then. So, <laughs> so it does work. Play a record. Right. Play a record. So, who's a winner? Ah, yes. Now I'm going to give it to um, uh, someone who emailed in with the correct answer, <laughs> St- and he, his name is Steve Martin. <laughs> really? And I'm giving. I don't know if you noticed over the last few weeks, I've been giving the prize to people with just a kooky element to them. You know, if they well, got people a, to start an amusing name. sending their name in, like um, uh, Barry Bumpfroyd. Well, don't worry, because I can spot if it's a, if it's a fake comedy name. Or what was that it, last one we laughed at? For I can't no remember. Reason. I think it was Gerald something. Yeah, it was. It was just like Gerald Smethurst no, or something. It, what's it? Uh, Preston. Gerald, Gerald Preston. Preston. Why is that a funny name? Jerry Preston, a great guy. But for Gerald some reason, Preston, we laughed at that. He right. caught my attention. So this week, Steve Martin's caught my attention. <laughs> right. Yeah. When was the last time Steve Martin made you laugh? This Steve Martin. Or <laughs> 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 um, Dickers isn't uh, been. Yeah, we've had no correspondence from from Dickie Anderson for some time, which uh, saddens me. Little Dickmeister General, what is he doing yeah, out there? Has he got what? He's got like he's got something better to do. Mm. Mm. Ridiculous. Yeah. Right. Well, that's, so that's the end. Eh? We've got the last song. So is there anything? It's the, you end, it's the end of Rockbusters, and it's the end of Monkey News. Monkey News will give you one more go for, it, and it's got to be credible. It's got to be real. It's got to be true. We need to see your sources. It needs to be yeah. corroborated. Okay. Rockbusters. They've got to be real band names. New Odor. <laughs> New Odor. <laughs> <laughs> New Odor. <laughs> Just anything. Just <laughs> brilliant. Well, well done to Steve. You got them all. So. So is that it then? Yeah. Brilliant. Well, uh, Cheers. I've enjoyed that. I hope your back's better, Rick. Yeah. And, uh, Carl, I hope you, um, buck up your ideas. <laughs> your brain's better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got something interesting about a brain we'll can talk about it next no, week. No, tell it now. No, I'll-, I'll t- Quickly, tell it what is week. it? No, I'll, I'll leave it. Oh, like that's a hook. Like people will be going for a week. Oh, I wonder what things are with Carl's brain. <laughs> Was it a brain that drove a motorbike? <laughs> across oh, to Switzerland? You've heard it. <laughs> <laughs>